to our transmission for the day Thursday, the 21st day of May, 2000, sorry, 2020. And it's our pleasure to bring you the dialogue. Of course, this is where we engage in a conversation for the nation. And today, my guest, um, with his initials, PBA, is already seated. Soon, I'll be introducing him and inviting him to the glass table where we will commence the discussions designed for you at home. You can also be part of the show. How do you do that? Of course, um, at a certain time, we will activate the phone line 0240-550-899 for you to be part of the show. Alternatively, our social media handles are also activated throughout the show, even now. And it is at Net2TVGH on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and of course, Twitter. This morning, the issues are aplenty. But before we delve into that, let's take um, a look at the newspapers, the front pages and the back pages, and what they say. The new crusading guide is our first port of call, and we have government social interventions impressive. Chiefs of Kome and Shime to Akufuado. We also have COVID-19 fight. CSIR recommends Opinto Heba. NBC will not withdraw from 2020 elections, Asiedu in Ketia. And on the top right-hand corner, foreign ministry donates medical supplies to Ministry of Health. We turn our attention to the next newspaper, The Chronicle. We have Roman father threatens whistleblowers after BNI invades St. Theresa's Hospital. GTA, sorry, Guta accuses aviation minister of usurping powers of MOH, or Ministry of Health. 51% of COVID-19 cases in Ashanti are women, Ghana Health Service. And we've forgotten, we have forgiven, sorry, Justice Onyenuga minority. So that's the front page for the Chronicle. Attention now is on um, the ABC News and EC, Electoral Commission, to brief Parliament on election 2020 preparations. Men's Gold appoints Payboy to settle aggrieved customers. Electoral Commission's new register for election 2020. Ghana can't afford constitutional crisis, is the editorial of the ABC newspaper. And businessman in court for sharing nude videos of ex-girlfriend. The statesman is next, and we have CID probes Mills death. Um, I guess that statesman is just hesitating to appear on the screen shortly. Uh, yes, there we go. CID probes Mills' death. Mahama Abronya fight to open can of worms. Parliament approves nomination of four Supreme Court judges. 30 health workers infected with coronavirus in Ashanti region. As you can see, that's the front page for the Daily Statesman newspaper. Next stop is the Ghanaian Times, and we'll ease COVID-19 restrictions if pandemic-associated deaths reduce. President. President others observe 25th anniversary of Kumi Prekong demo. And Bishop Obinim still in police custody over failure to meet bail bond. Parliament approves all four Supreme Court nominees. This is one of the stories uh, my guest and I will be looking at this morning. At the back page of the Ghanaian Times, gossip honors 59 farmers in Upper East Region. Assembly to construct 142 stores at Old Market. Next is the Daily Guide newspaper, and COVID-19 recoveries hit, hit 1,773, according to the Daily Guide. Number one, names pay boy to clear debt. 
Parliament confirms Supreme Court case no being arrested sweats over 100,000 Ghana City bail. And uh, finally, we turn our attention to the graphic, the daily graphic on its front page. ADB invests 500 million in poultry sector, aims to boost local chicken production and cuts imports. My guest and I will also be taking a critical look at this uh, very crucial uh, story. Parliament approves four for Supreme Court, says the exhibited competence. Results of MP COVID-19 tests won't be made public, medical director. I thought some MPs, especially from the minority side, were advocating for um, the results of some COVID-19 positive patients to be made public. Maybe some selected MPs' um, results should have been made public. Turn your attention to the daily graphic, AMA, that's the Accra Metro Metropolitan Assembly, pulls down structures at Jamestown Beach for fishing harbor project. So finally, uh, the people of Gamashin, the fishing town, uh, fishing harbor project is soon to take off. Woman jailed eight years for stealing two children. Right, so people are still stealing children in this day and age. Okay. Let's come back into the studios, and uh, once again, we welcome you into um, the studios. This is the dialogue with me, Isaac Clotty, seated already um, on the glass sofa, around the glass sofa, is Padmore Bafo Ajipon, an environmentalist, and of course, another oil communications um, officer for the new patriotic party. Good morning, my brother. Good morning. Akwaba, Anope. Yeah, yeah. Mm, Oh, Radiadum, I'm coming over here. Ruko, no, you're Bubu Dean, yet to me. I announce you, Dean, dear Danase. Danase, thank you. Of course, um, we are still enforcing or um, adhering to the uh, COVID-19 measures. Very so important. we just have to remind our viewers, um, together, all of us, we need to keep washing our hands regularly with soap and the running water, as you know, for at least 20 seconds. And let's apply hand sanitizers regularly, you know, in between time, in between activity. Let's not, for let's not forget to put on our face or nose masks as we step out into public. And when we get out into public, let's try and adhere to social distancing protocols by observing physical distancing spaces, possibly about a meter or two from your nearest human contact. And in all these things, if they are quite difficult for you, just stay at home if you can work from home. Right. Um, just before I get into the matters proper, let me just inform you that uh, Franco Trading is announcing that some unscrupulous persons are using their Facebook account to defraud innocent citizens. They are hereby reminding the general public to desist from doing any Facebook transactions with the Franco Trading Facebook account, but rather through the official website, which is www.francotrading.com or www.francophones.com. They are telling you that doing any Franco, Fa Franco Facebook transaction will be at your own peril. For further information and other um, inquiries concerning their products and services, contact Francophone on 0246-422-338 or 0546-133-188. Franco Trading Enterprise, still phone Papa Fier. And this Sunday, from the hours, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 10 a.m., the International Charismatic Church will be bringing you an hour service on uh, to television. It will be a service of worship. And it will be um, live on all our social media platforms, like I stated earlier, at Net2TVGH on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and of course, Twitter. So let's join their general overseer, Bishop Opon Edu Jemfi, um, in a sermon this coming and every Sunday. High Sense reminds you that it is the only electric company that, without a second thought, Moon Dream um, twice, cry, I'm a mammal, five years manufactures defect warranty for items you purchased 
course, in the wake of this deadly coronavirus, they are asking us to intensify the preventive measures to avoid um, getting the COVID-19. So as usual, like I said earlier, let's keep washing our hands, applying sanitizers, wearing our face mask, ensuring social and physical distancing, and staying home if we have nothing um, crucial to do outside. All these um, caution is coming from Hisense. So for inquiries on their products, which include refrigerators, television sets, gas cookers, steamers, mobile phones, and what have you, the number to call is 0302 Five five zero 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 three zero two five five zero 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 zero. Right, so this morning, um, um, Padmo is already seated. Um, bra, I no pay seven dollars on your best Supreme Court, ne, um, the nomination, the approval of the four judges. Um, easy matters, say so, cause so, and Peace Council are bar out, say, they should, easy should at least register all eligible voters. Um, a few days ago, Kodeo also came out to say the EC cannot manipulate the EC as it's, it's, it is now, cannot manipulate or rig any elections for anyone. So we'll be looking at that. Uh, surprisingly, the statesman says CID is proving the mill's death. If it's something you want us to take a bite, there you go. we we'll also take a bite this morning. Obinim in police custody. Well, uh, most people assumed, well, because he rides in flashy cars, lives in lavish um, houses, by now the 100,000 bill cry should have, you know, sorted it out and be on his way. But unfortunately, according to the papers, he's still languishing in police custody. But the cream of the cake is the front page story on the front, uh, the graphic on the front page of the graphic, which says ADB invests 500 million Ghana cities in the poultry sector, aims to boost local chicken production and cut imports. How relevant is this headline? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, mm. You want us to do with the daily graphic? It's one up first? to you. It's okay. up to you. Which one? All right. Uh, also. Uh, Food security, I mean, yeah. Oh, man, be a man, COVID by a lockdown, you buy expose. We are seeing now, you're gonna go. It do maybe the prime minister of India, a babble and timber pa, India for you natural. So, I'm sorry, sir, or yeah, lockdown, not a com a drink or four. True, it's your club, yeah, no, sir. What do we do? And it's some at two year. I'm not to young chamber to know. Eddie, I know why I'll be to me, dear ma, Ukruma, or my man of Eddie. Poultry are some aye are a hawk in one way when you talk about it, a concerning local poultry farmers. Right. One of the key a year, a year seen, a year can say, yes, at least. At least when Timmy Crano, one egg a day, dear, also Tim, because you are back or dako. If you go to the sense, it will be a two, depending on your metabolic rate in your idea, okay, but back up there. School feeding, you introduce here, your man kusia at the mom of Rano school, Eddie. Now, I will say in all of this, now, if you are over caught some of our supermarkets, some of our shops, now even go see a cry a crepe for a good tree. And I bought my motor. My first degree, I did agri science, right? And I specialize in animal science. My final year, so more or less, it's a combination of agriculture and environmental studies, so right. natural resource management. Mm. So, what can I say? What poultry industry? Now I break the value chain of poultry. I am happy, say ADB, take this initiative. Mm. So your poultry line now. Let me just take it from the point, say, say you invest in poultry, just the feeding of poultry. And cook one year feed you more can. What do you mean the feed you more? We are a bro, maize. So obviously this is going to call for massive cultivation of maize. Okay. To feed the industry. We have fish. So your yeah, fishermen, there is going to be huge demand for those particular type of fish. Yeah, they fry a year the animal poultry. 
There were things like Austria shells, there were things like wheat bran, and you might have different AM and Cocoa Biani. It is all fact in a Obibia or Copo. When you that high quality fish in a year day FED and Cocoa, definitely on market or other. Because a bear hot cake could it to us as a potty farmers, a bit cheesy, sour fish, no at all. Right. So, what could you do, bro? No, chow, bro. Munse, potty farmers, age now also. Eh, train. Age. Some potty farmers, even in the past, acquired to the sense that Oman do music a cry to me, a yiska manco for a dear, a brunus animal, a maum. So, they secure that feed. Exactly. They secure it to feed Omo poultry. Now, let's look at the economic side of it to the farmer and in the bushian for any of my nina. If I decide, say, in my poultry farm and many broilers, and the broilers are the ones are uh, three months, four months, maybe now about two months, no more who they don't lay eggs. Okay. So, umunoyana, it was seasonal demand for them. Maybe the hospitality industries, you know, I requested for. Omo. Hotels, be you see Omo. And then we have the layers. They are the ones that lay eggs. Right. If you decide to go into layer production, one, uh, Omo, uh, and the good news about poultry farming is that, so with me, a year will be a year vaccination, a year will medication, a year will one year okay. When they start to lay eggs, by the time I overturn Kusiana, you know, and Kusiana bet me at Woka, what boy in Amo. When I am cooking in a do baby, what we all know as diminishing returns, I feel a woman to mean two Kusian be baby because women in it. Then the sale of and cooking on becomes an extra huge profit for you, the farmer. It is our poultry industry. It is one of the most viable industries uh, of men as we invest in uh, mm -hmm. the boost to economy. People are buying eggs, hotels, uh, schools, hospitals, everywhere you go. And even a lot of the food that we prepare, we use egg. You want to do stew, it be the egg bear, over roadside, check, check, or bubble egg. No, so, Kosia is very important. Right. So in uh, that sustained production, I will make you. I never go there now. I said the more yen ye to free, a brochure mm -hmm. ban. The ye ye I say ye resource a brochure farmers ni mum. The ye ye can't show me say sikano or home production produce ever better. But these things locally you bet me I ye wa bra ye na say ye das on da ye say ye ko akon. Now then, Tina, Drew and Nia. We have to do these things. I mean, maybe uh, the country from maybe decades ago, we could have done these things. One of the one of the things are uh, a hard poultry industry, you know. Mm. And at an early stage, I had the opportunity to to get closer to the Ashanti Regional Poultry Farmers Association. Right. So whilst I was schooling, I was still going there and then I okay. There was this uh, Reverend Minister, Reverend Ananibwada, who was an accountant there. So, Okwe Juma, no farming, no the makeup. So, expose me a lot to the activities of poultry farmers and the poultry uh, associations. Adia Bakwa, Ebe Ha Omo. I said, one, competition from imported poultry products. Okay. Emra, ye allow ye ma competition no e buy no now people were bringing in poultry products a ne bo no e fo e sin de na omo no e produce no and don't forget say some e go to penen ko for friend no en kuku funu like uh, yeah. dead dead meat yeah. and the carcass then ni akofa ni abani abeto it was cheaper and then also some people now started against all odds and all conspiracy theories mm. attacking the consumption of egg. Okay. And of course, you have cholesterol and the bacon and a so people now decided to shun away from consuming egg. Okay. Because now that misconception, you know, egg also. 
And to the more they were producing, they were not getting people. So it affected consumer trends. It affected one production. Mm -hmm. Because if I produce and I will not get consumers to buy, mm -hmm. why would I risk producing? Okay. So a lot of them now decide, okay, do I now shift from uh, layers that can give me eggs and go into broilers? For broilers, two months, two and a half months, they are okay, I can sell and get money. But mind you, uh, hospitality industry, I don't go that much to say, all the uh, production there, but only to me, I absorb it. So the one we are, then your supply will normal your demand. Not farmer, not a boca. And my farmers, I mean, Okwa Asante Regional, and I can tell you for a fact, a lot of the poultry farmers, their farms collapsed. Okay. A lot. I am sure you know at one point in time, when you mentioned the name Daco Farms, it was a household name in Ghana. Everywhere, anybody knew of Daco Farms. Why? Because of poultry production. Right. But sadly, today, if you mention Daco Farms, who knows Daco Farms? So a lot of the industry, you know, these near mano ebehano, emano yede, the collapse. So, so if we want to now go back and resource the farmers and push them, capitalize them, and then they go back to their farms and work, I am telling you the next we turn over, poultry production turn over, and also mm. if ADB gives money, pumps five hundred million yeah. Ghana cities into poultry production, mm -hmm. it won't take ADB less than two years. They will take their money and get the oh, interest they, get they are back. charging. They I'm want... telling you, wow. farmers can pay whatever loan or whatever facility they are taking and pay their interest because the, the, the demand is already there for poultry mm -hmm. products. It is there. Right. And at the back, why are you really finished? Once upon a time, now growing up, we were not buying these layers because we felt like they have been injected exactly. and all those. We had a perception as well. We had that perception. I am telling you now, there has been more awareness than even before in the past. Mm. So people would rather go for live poultry we have produced here and buy okay. than the ones that have been imported packaged. Okay. Because the attitude of the Wahano may quota and no one will be able to do it. As in the one injection, the amount of who a different bridge they bring. It is the demand now, no, a high. I wanted to find out. In person, me who say um, with poultry, no, Senna, you know, about two years now, Ghana, we've not been importing maize, according to Ministry of Agriculture, right. and I guess that uh, effort is being turned towards the area of rice. Yeah. Now, can we succeed with poultry as well so that maybe we can get, we can hear the slogan by the year 20 something, we will not be importing chicken products. Is that possible? It, it's, it's, it's highly possible. Okay. If you commit into the poultry industry, say, you're being investor, I am telling you, you won't fail. The only risk or the biggest risk mm. in poultry production is when you you downplay on your vaccination mm. and then at that early stage or chicks you know they are attacked by one of they these uh, yeah. diseases that affects chicken mm -hmm. then obviously your loss might be high because they never got to a stage where they can now start laying eggs so you can sell and make money mm -hmm. but as like any other job, there are some of these uh, risks that even human life, if you don't take care and at that early stage you don't vaccinate and all these childhood diseases hit you, you can lose your life. Yeah. But when that stage is cleared, poultry is one of the best, fastest industries that can get people out of poverty. It is, it is so sharp, so sweet. You know, the reason being that, Products or products that comes from poultry don't last on the shelves. Okay. They don't. People will start talking about don't eat red meat. Don't I have anybody talk about poultry? Mm -hmm. Don't eat poultry. In the event of people being advised, avoid red meat. Mm -hmm. The first option is that chicken. you go for fish. Korean, Korean. or yeah. chicken. I mean, if it has to be meat, yeah. So that 
Adia no Kano, the market is there. Okay. But the production is what in the past has been a headache. We, we forgot to pump in. And, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm very hopeful, sir. This government, one of the key things I want to so, hey, industrializing Ghana, making sure our production rate is going high. Right. So the more we revamp some of these industries and get more people in it, mm -hmm. not production cost the more money will come into the system. Right. And the more families will be alleviated from poverty. Because now, semitifia na minye jumaye. Na poultry farmers me and sang wo within Madina Enclave. Now we produce eggs. I can go buy some and come and sell. It's a business opportunity for me. Right. So the value chain continues. It continues. Fantastic. So these are the thoughts of my guest, Padmo Ejipon, on the issues on the front page, on the um, headline on the front page, ADB invests 500 million Ghana cities in poultry, in the poultry sector. So let's have your thoughts as well. Let's know what you um, say about this injection of half a billion Ghana cities in the poultry sector. So the show goes on. And our next story comes from um, page 13 of the Daily Graphic. And Parliament approves four for Supreme Court. So here we go. Parliament approves four for Supreme Court, if you can um, see the headlines properly. Yes. So if I can take a few paragraphs um, by a story by Nana Kunedu Ajiman from Parliament says, Parliament yesterday extolled the competence of all the four persons recently nominated by the President for appointment as justices of the Supreme Court. In, an un, in, a, in a unanimous approval of nominations of the four yesterday, the House said, in spite of the few hiccups that characterize the vetting of one of them, Justice Clemens Jackson Honyanuga, a justice of the appeal of the Court of Appeal, the four nominees generally proved that they were cut for the job at the apex courts. The other nominees were Justice Isifu, Imoro, Tanku Amadu, uh, Professor Henrita Mensambunsu, and Emmanuel Yoni Kulendi. The approval comes after the chairman of the appointments committee, Joseph Ose Wusu, had submitted a report on the nominees to the House and recommended their approval. But contrary to the anticipated lengthy debate to precede the approval of Justice Honyanuga, the House unanimously endorsed the recommendation of the committee for his appointment and that of other nominees. Um, if we recall, Justice Honyanuga failed to secure um, a unanimous approval from the appointments committee after he was vetted. So it was expected that, I mean, yesterday there will be a bit of tug of war in the approval. But surprisingly, all of them were cleared. And the parliament is saying they exhibited competence. Um, what says that? Yeah. Mm, as this for? Media, mm -hmm. I am a deser who can say, Justice when you got the a call if you can see Muno, Omunina Egitum, teachers, Yanko Votimpo, on it. Who said appointments committee in you may you win now, Omukoye voting na and this for Cassa, Omon Penelon. Later, and this for now for trans no more said there be my mistake. Because a mistake no more, you know, by not. Agreeing at the appointment committee level to pass mm -hmm. justice for you. The entire a tree, a moon, so my mistake, and they say, Oh, more reason I know much not so. And then no air chin, they say, As or henne or cocassai and the cassa, you know, as a war endorsed the president. Number one, Papa no baby, a ye in a cosum could in a juman. Or no, 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 a cock on that less than a mere ye president or main one. Debbie. Dear Tosumi, you know, say, I see you be a Supreme Court, and near my Sheshe, sir, a Nipano, a was away, say, a was away, say, a was away, say, a Nisa, why you say, Sanya, you know, you have shut Papa on your new guy. Sanya, many in a omiti, and as a omiti, and omina, you tune say omiti. So, and near my de qualify and man of court now bench, you know, as Supreme Court judge, you know, omiti, you I didn't know. I saw my waka and five jumedia who could be in honor. Who be who be against him? So it's like, sir, 
Young Fan said, My Mijin mm Mensa, -hmm. any ho, and ye pe electoral commissioner. And a president called board justice when you get in say, Young Fan, you call electoral commissioner. A whole now because a hey, papa. Who kind of answer now for kind of just already know, you can see a patrol by say, Oh, you pa, or be per se, it's a no dear. Which would make more sense and more meaning. Okay. Than say, all what na bench so na say ne kasa koso ye say say on your court prefer a certain person continues or become the president in the next election. Okay. Ejo what na say we say there be omo reason no sebi ne ntaso mo. So it was a mistake they had on that part. So I'm not surprised say a court figure see no. They all now realize oh. Be be anywa papa no buy tna ye ni me kekan na e chere say. Undeserved, right. say a person. And as I wish a nipper for ya, Omunina, ye do more queer. I am not just Omu Baku cra or may you overcast Omun ye be. And now Omun contribute to to the law progress of our nation. Baby, a man, a war, any baby, a do each one of them. There's not a single one now with me. Now, no, Abbiano Cassel, we do no, 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 when this Abu and Yabi Magana. Which of these people? No. And the Ilza Mekan, who last week, and my examples why they were being economical with the truth and what they were doing in case of linking uh, justice in the comment when he sat as a chief, a paramount chief, to now the vetting. Do you realize that they were two different scenarios? So if the minority had a problem, they should have gone to the chiefs. Is that what? What if should they, that be? If they had an issue, issue with this, they could have gone and to the National House of Chiefs and said, we know that you chiefs, per the constitution, you are not supposed to be actively engaged in politics. Mm. But we think, though he was not politicking, but once you want to go and make a petition, mm -hmm. but we think the statement from the paramount chief amounted to. But you know why they could not do that? Why? Because numerous paramount chiefs in 2016, numerous paramount chiefs, mm. there were times even one paramount chief gave Nakunya Wateso and my certain <laughs> candidate, Mr. Wantanaso. I'm only the openly or country of Ghana for you, I said, Oh no, any Nikro men in our dear, or move back to our back. One can say, Dear Oya May, so cause why, yes, sir, dear. Mm -hmm. And maybe I would deserve to go. So we will just say you decide to say, yeah, 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 and put you my way by the more over this. I say, I never called ya. And yet, be a bed dinner home. On this book, I said, Yeah, can't say. Where do you say? Yet, you are just to me. I decided to say, Yeah, bet one more. That was 2016 NDC. And just some of these things, you know, yeah, yeah, my emotions, dear, you know, we air. And I'm happy the NDC realized, say, Oh, me a mistake. And you know, and a young co, if you can see him. Don't question you name. I am co corrected. I didn't hear you. The woman in our corner, Yamini Adonis, are you good for Ghana? A Ghana, because Osha Papa, we are when you know, never to know. I never put back a separate this justice for all in the prison system. I would hear any more here internationally. We are going to for me to say you're Nicole Andy. Eh? Yeah. What do you offer for law? Normal law at Twinchin. Now take the principles of common sense, the principles of Christian living, that the principle of traditional living, mm -hmm. on those Christian principles that promote godly living, you can't take it away from a person like you, Nicolini. Right. But in terms of the law itself, he has done a lot. He's done a lot for, for Ghana law. And he, it will be surprising, say, will be best sorry, no, but can say, Omu Mubia, deserve it. And I'm happy they all uh, qualified to 
now go to the bench and serve at the Supreme Court. Fantastic. So what have you got to say about the um, approval by Parliament for all four vetted justices who have been approved to uh, proceed to the Supreme Court bench? Let's hear your thoughts on that. 0240-550-899 is the WhatsApp line. You can send your messages and we'll read them aloud. Um, at the ample time, we would activate the phone lines where you can also um, chip in your views and we'll hear your voice. I know a lot of you are waiting for Padmore uh, for his Obinim comments. The Obinim comments will come soon, very, very soon. But now let's just, um, from the corridors of the Supreme Court, let's head to the veranda of the Electoral Commission and see what's happening there. Because in the ABC newspaper, and on, on page six of that particular paper, um, if I can just show you uh, briefly the headlines, um, it says only 25 people will be allowed at registration centers at the time, the EC. So there we go. So um, if I could read a few more paragraphs, it says not more than 25 persons or people will be permitted at a registration center at a given time when the Electoral Commission begins the mass voter, voter registration exercise for, December, for the December polls, according to the communications director for the commission. According to Silviano, the commission will put the necessary safety precaution, protocols in place to ensure that Ghanaians are adequately protected against COVID-19 contraction while undertaking the exercise. Um, she added that people coming to register will be given hand sanitizers before they enter the registration center and wearing of face mask and there'll be no crowding at the registration center, she assured. It looks like the EC is keen or it's intensifying its preparatory efforts to um, go ahead with the voter registration. Um, are we to see something like that soon? Will the EC imminently proceed to um, commence registration? And if they do, how do you expect or how does your party expect the protocols to be like? One, my party is clear. Right. That when we were in opposition, in mm -hmm. we campaigned for a new register. Okay. Now we are in government. It is not now that we will turn around and say we don't need. We still insist that we need a new register. That is consistency. That is the view of the NPP. Okay. In opposition, we said we needed a new register. In government, we need a new register. Constant. So you just need a new register. We need it. Right. Now, if you want to ask why all these things and the NDC and the issues that are coming out of this, you know the EC per law, if they even decide not to do a new register, they are allowed to do limited registration. That means people who have turned 18 now should be given the opportunity to register and get their names on their roll. Say, say, Omo um, Omadi 18 years now. Omo Baye Day and the Electoral Commission are true, Omo Dinso Mungo Tuaba. Okay. Say, this Omo Baye sentence, no Mungo Tuaba. Now, say, I know the, you bet me a Baye, and then this is for say, I know the Omo Peninsula. And then they see Omo Kwan, say, you bet me a Mungo Kwan, and then they found you, and you didn't have to flop your Difference in the day. Or be at 2016, dear no. Gentlemen, your limited registration for those who just attained 18. And the issue is, if you want to do the limited registration, people are still going to queue to come and write their names. Okay. So instead of being the limited registration, and with all the issues with the new register, why don't we then take the opportunity and do a new register? Right. So you can say, you're not limited, and you're not limited, and you're not limited. It's still the same. It is our concerns no more raising and a COVID and a social distance. So our concerns now will be raised when it is about limited registration. But you can't turn around and come and say, say limited registration, they have been supported, but new register, they have been supported because of COVID. And what sort of uh, argument is this? Mm. Because COVID name and a limited for no kujina at you. And you say limited for me to be true in India. And you can't for no more. You can't for no more. 
case solved. This shouldn't be an issue. But NDC in the Oma year, it will new register. It's a register in the two abenim. Who say be sorry? We say oh, eh, na mo sorry, na mo kasa, na way, na way. But register we are in the two abama, a kufu ad be a president. No doubt. Eh, no one you see it. But the kufu ad say, me own position na me see register in a flawed. Ya two aba edi amame. I still see some flaws in it. And you're constant. I won't change my view on that. So I believe that we need a new one. And if I be bringing a eh, an ID card, an ID card for me, but me ni ame no kase. And your national ID card, me tia national ID card me nibi. Okay. Me ni national ID card. I don't go to. But mm. the issue is, it is not only national ID card na me tim di akuchu mbi. I okay. have a valid Ghanaian passport. Fantastic. I have my birth certificate mm -hmm. that proves that. I am a Ghanaian with my Akonya passport. So many years, I have failed my Akonya passport. I have failed my Akonya passport. The Electoral Commission says, who has a passport? Who has a national ID card? Who has a national ID card? Who has a national ID card? Who has a passport? Who has a national ID card? 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 Na baby, I'm going to me. Didn't want to judge the I can't show me. I am part me a gun and me. Now you want me to have only me, my mommy, my papa. Now my friend focus on swaka home. Focus on so bad. Baby, you need me. You know, baby, judge the mood, mommy. What is difficult about this? So I will see an empty. You are basically being made to me. Why? I know so I could train you. Did it? You hear me? Part me. So mommy, dear, dance here. Man, so a gun and me. I be him now. I be cast one way. And the end is for argument, you know. Sebi, um, um, baby, um, di free, um, um, baby, um, peso mko ende no. Na di biya mu bisa se. Then na ewo the whole voters register mu a omu ene se. Um, baby, ya no kofro. For you no then na ewo mu a oje se om. Omu ene yem pene yem pene yem pene. Ensa metina ha e kan se. Ensa na yebe ko 2016 elections. Dr. Baumia, a lecture. Added to two ja issues are now you identify our voter register. Mm. For example, Ghana NPP are buying any Togo role, Omo electoral commission, Omo register, and Omo far Ghana there. And in any case, when you have uh, electronic document, you can easily run both and see if some names are yeah, the same. Yeah. The age, photo. Duplicity, triplicity. You can easily track yeah. all this. Right. And Dr. Baumiani MPP be privileged to Ghana for you and say, you will to go for, I will be able to go register, so it didn't work Ghana register. How possible? It didn't work Ghana near, we are going to show. So me da sorry watch na ni ako tuwa bayi president na tu guni ne be tuwa bayi president ama mo gano we ano ako tuwa tu gu ako tuwa yadi manasi na wa be tuwa bayi se bi ubi a uni ma me mo mo she na be di meso it is not possible we are no fuma there were minus and kora and kora some of the registration centers registration offices were threatened. To register them. The minors. I'm telling you. In Kolano. And Koran Kitin, 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 nine years, ten years. I am not saying true, Mudin. As I said, now I'm buying being a while by me to know more. I'm called for, and they are to trust some good junk of also, Muncho Mudin. I trust you, Mudin. Mrs. All fire current register now, Shima. All the pictures are the Osha picture now, share age now here. Ubu said, Nana, how I can we be so weak? What are we teaching these children that at that age, or to look at training, didn't say we're the 18, but I'm only 18. Send your bear over to our back. It is how you end this in it. Not so only when you are registered, not also my year in cleaning register now. Not a sort of a man ban any day. What type of a citizen are you? Right. There were so many other issues about people are no more abundant. About soldier for na omo ko mission, and about soldier for no mufi mission abba. 
There were so many controversies about Sa Omuna Mbesinenso. And Nini na MPP di Tuja. I'm a Ubiaji to say I am pa. There are issues with the register. Okay. And the electoral commissioner saw Baba can't trust to say, 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 no technology, a quonanim. It's the new technology. And I air barbers new register. We must say a bear. It's never be crying to me and your washi. Why an empty technological advancement? By and right, me, I see a drink here or another network. So, oh, besides, I then a electoral commission or moon bar out and be explaining, explaining the reason why they need to do a new register. Oh, Casa, or your truffle. There has been a series of meetings at the Electoral Commission, a fray, IPAC. So, Mumra parties, Mumra, we are not going to do it. The commission has decided. They have decided to say, we are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. Political parties are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. Eji di ebi ono mo person mo kache gana vose umu nim di enti ebi se e dena mi meti ya mi muye e ya mi pi ne fre mi ti no mo kache se we enti ni akwe register no me no ti ya se 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 u Google Ghana why Ghana needs a voter register Jane Manson conference ni ni ama letters o mo ishu be 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 ba you can read and get the content of why they want a new register. Maybe they are not convinced. Because they, they, they decided that they will go against it. And they are talking to me, you know, I see you get here, or vice president, Eddie. He wants to be chosen as Mohammed's running mate. Yeah, sure. Of course. He on one being a new marker. The interview, I have it here. Ah, the whole interview, no, no. On a TV station, you know, and to your vice running mate now, open when your vice president that will be the or NDC. I say, ah. Why not? He up on a contender. Or no, they be big beer bit me up one and this year about power. Even say so no, I didn't know who was vice president, the ever fan, and no GD said the NDC ever power. Do up it is any panel, definitely who will be a few. But or you be beer man, a party name who say any past may see a torn in the flesh of MPP or a torn in the flesh of EC. Your fan now will be to me a pushy. I am I that has always been a sitting pet as a game plan. Right. But he knows, says so, Asa Noka, and you know, so who knew the reason? Why do you say it's a woman? So then I was sorry, it's here. A woman, a woman, and I didn't know so they know, they know why they are saying so they, they are not in agreement with the EC. You are mm. not in agreement with the EC doing a new register. Obviously, they have told you why they want to do a new register. And it is the reason you don't agree, but not just the register. Right. Reasons they gave no more say but it's not the register. So what can say about any no crap? Any no crap. And then I easy say because so I yeah registration also I know so. Easy about bond chair maker. Now Omo the CI a parliament. Okay. For amendment to the old CI no. May I show say parliament is not say not parliament due to we are abeyemra. And once I am running, running, say, the Electoral Commission and co as part of election 2020, we will register Ghana for four fraud. I am running. Which day I can say with me so. Ghana Parliament in Nigeria, too. Ghana Parliament, you MPP for one day ago. We are a parliament, we are MPP, we are NDC, and maybe a free parliament, but I am Ghana for. You can say, say, you vote, and me vote, T.I., and I just say, it does not make any sense. It is still the parliament. It goes on the record as that parliament of which you are part. And you vote, T.I., a person out. Me, 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 and this year, I will 100% support this register. What do you think, Jamaica, sir? I don't care. So, almost support the register we are. Whatever fears or more, now, see, a new register, near the end of 2020, we are. NDC can now sit and know exactly where their strengths are. Now and the know old, their numbers. With the old one, or to me, with the old one, they don't know because they have a lot of bloated names in there for them. So now, no, they don't. But my mother took an example. President Rollins mm -hmm. won 1992, first round. Mm -hmm. President Rollins won 1996. 
uh, first round. Mm -hmm. After 1992, MPP culture stolen verdict, you know, yeah. we were moving back into democracy. Mm -hmm. No doubt. About Gradually. That. Mm -hmm. So in 2000, the year 2000, MPP wins. NDC wins, Rollins 92, wins 96. Then 2000, MPP wins. Win him, baby. Opa, for every first round election after the year 2000. Mm. Now, share the number of votes are MPP. Now, the number of votes are NDC. You realize that at any certain time, right? NPP has a particular number, and the way in the day they will vote for NPP. Okay. That is about between 46, 48 percent. We in the day they will vote for NPP, though we near the 50 plus one. And now we share the same at the end of the day, ban of 2000. NDC has a certain percentage, that is between 43, 44. We in the day they will get 43, 44 percent. Okay. So genuinely, you know. On all the past registered here, the say MPP is always a little ahead. That is why it was easier for Kufo to win the second term in 2004 elections. All right. First round. Mm. When we got to 2008, where even the odds worked against NPP because there were a lot of division, a lot of split within the party. Mm. The first round, Kufo had led with about 40, close to 49 percent. 49 percent. 49.29. So it tells you that that 48, 47, 49 percent MPP, they are always there, secured. There's no doubt about that. Mm. But NDC does not know that Omar Adyan specifically. So they hang it around 43, 44 percent. So the second round, and then these agitations and all those comes in, and again, nobody wins until we went to time which gave the final results, and Professor Mills was declared. We all know the determination of the 2016 election. Mm. We all know. 2017, that was when people realized, say, I'm a more born in 2016, and you're my Ghana. You saw the margin. What was the difference? It is only in the 2016 election, and a certain president has been so, I mean, humiliated in an election sending his party back to opposition as the sitting president incumbent and the candidate for that same party. In the history of Ghana? In the history of Ghana. And all because of Amamu Bonia Nekoso Maimu. So now they are afraid that how possible MPP all of a sudden within their 48% at least in Kaumbe win in 2016. We expect to say in the first round. Then we can do whatever we want to do and come and win the second round. But this time it was outright first round win. And the margin was huge. So many Omar, okay, but as I said, then let's forget this old register. Isn't How that possible? Isn't, isn't that swing, massive swing? And you're possible this time. Say, hey, Bia, NDC is so bad to me. Whatever you oh, did to do oh, that. Oh, be oh Minya. Mm -hmm. you, do you know why it was possible for NPP to now? come from behind and win first round. Because of the alternative the Kufuado Baumia candidate was providing Ghanaians. Okay. So Kufuado Bekasa Baumia Bekasa, Omo Kache Ghana for say Bahama administration had no the echo and yet ye ba ye the bekoha. What is this yes and many be and he found what is a Jomama air casa say MPP are buying policies are all year way, 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 and yet to me, but I mean, nobody can say, Oh, me ba, me as a marking scheme, not qualify for remark. Oh, me ba, me qualify for remarking. Oh, me ba, me review it. So, or just to say, they're more, you know, eh, yeah, me ba, and where I've been, I mean, me, yeah, but me, she, she, my, yeah, baby, only anything new to offer. And I'm not just talking about Mama, I'm talking about NDC as a political party. Right. Mama is just one person in NDC. Tomorrow, Mahama might not be there. A new leader will come and lead the NDC. So obviously, it is the party itself. They don't have anything to offer Ghanaian as an alternative currently. Now, I did back what Omudi Omuhu, of course, said. I share the year 2012 elections. NDC won majority in parliament. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the presidential election it did not win in the, uh, they did not win in the first round. 
Okay. Now, the argument they made then is that now, when party, why we need majority in parliament, we lose presidential pain. But what they forgot was that, yes, more we need all right, but the seats now no more we need win. No. The mm. numbers were few. If you obey when it, not the 5,000 uh, votes are put in the parliament, no be the 4,000 votes, not the put in the parliament. But meanwhile, in the areas now, the MPP win, no, no. maybe are over 40,000, or the over 50,000, over 60,000. And to now, what I am praying for is that the MPP parliamentarians now, as they are, and the MPP party, as we want to go for parliamentary primaries, we will make sure that we consolidate our parliamentary seats. Okay. So you fight here, huh? now you lose your parliamentary seats. Uh, NDC might be able to win with small, 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 small votes. And it could be possible, sir, they will take parliament as a majority. But possibly because we get high votes in our areas are populated, no? the president will win. There's no doubt about that. But yeah, we are then, we are putting the president in a difficult situation. That is why it is important, sir, to consolidate your gains, you know. Mm. You're not careful. Not parliamentary seats, you know. They are fair and uncompromised. No. Okay, right. So these are the thoughts of um, Padmo Ejipon on issues concerning the Electoral Commission and its attempt or in its preparations to begin the voters registration process okay um let's go and see if we have a few more messages god bless honorable ken akumpre kojipon he is my mentor good morning to you all watching from nottingham great job god bless this is from grace benjamin it's a clotty i like your program but you speak too much english which seems um, okay, we'll deal with that. My, I'm learning my tree, so <laughs> soon now it will be sharp. And so why? Tree ni beba wa 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 wa. Theophilus Amasa is asking: the NDC is so detestable, detestable to any good thing that is for Ghana to enjoy. The yeah. Busuan Puffle secret tape agenda um, is being implemented till date. We are mastering and executing it consistently. Dangerous. Thank you, Theophilus. Um, Stephen Ofori says, I suppose the National Identification Authority should speed up with their job. To be frank, Professor Atafua, Atifua is too slow. NIA should work together with the local and district councils to go into houses to register Ghanaians. Um, Theophilus Amasa comes back and says, we can't blame NIA too much. The Ghanaian people are not helping in the process. Trying to register a foreigner is bad. NDC asking their members to boycott the exercise was bad. Passing integrity is a question um, Theophilus Amasa was asking. Right, just before we go for a short break, let me just remind you of the figures um, of the COVID-19 figures in Ghana currently. Um, as at now, unfortunately, 31 people have passed on through, you know, getting the COVID-19, and we have 6,269 infections um, since the outbreak in Ghana. Fortunately, 1,898 uh, close to 2,000 persons have recovered. So the um, recovery rates are increasing. We thank God worldwide, just a little bit, just a little over 5 million persons have been infected um, globally with um, 329,903 um, losing their lives, unfortunately. And the great news is that uh, we've now passed the 2 million mark for recovery. So 2 million 33,672 persons have recovered from COVID-19 worldwide. When we come back, Obinim arrested by struggling to sort out his bail conditions. This is the dialogue. Please stay tuned. We will be back shortly.
Right, welcome back into the studio. This is still the dialogue, and you're watching myself with my guest, Padmo Ejipong. I'm engaging in a conversation for the nation. Like I promised earlier, um, there's a story on um, various, in the various newspapers that will take the Daily Guide's version. It says, Obinim arrested, sweats over 100,000 Ghana city bail. So we are going to look at why the angel um, is finding it difficult to um, gather the resources. I thought maybe Angel Michael and Gabriel may come and assist him. But let's hear what Enes Kofiedu says in his report. The controversial pastor of the International God's Way Church, Daniel Obinim, has been arrested by the police, making it the third time he's been put before a court. This time around, he is reportedly struggling to meet the 100, 100,000 Ghana CD bill um, with three sureties, one to be justified as imposed by the court. As a result, Obinim, who claims to be an angel of God, has been frequent and has been frequenting heaven, is said to remain in police custody until he's able to justify the bail conditions. So the, um, the paper gave a few previous cases in the Hot FM instance and where um, he was uh, acquitted and discharged. And also after him, himself and two of his pastors were fined 12,000 by an Accra circuit court after assaulting two teenagers within his church premises. So this third complaint, um, according to the guide, although the police have not released the identity of the complainant, Daily Guide understands that it was through the effort of the firebrand member of parliament for Asin Central, Kennedy Ohenye Japan, that got Obinim arrested. The MP has vowed to expose pastors and other spiritualists he deems fake and has accused Obinim of being one of such characters. Um, bra, Padma. <laughs> I said, no. Mm -hmm. Some of these things, you know, one who here, na neka akoyese, o mokini pan. But if you read well, I send a daily guide, can I was say, Obinim, ah, or catch the gunner for say, or ye or both for, I will team you heaven, eba, the beer. So, says any power or your buff for no to me call heaven bar. Police for no more how more. Because Bible where the Peter echo to if you are saying, or buff for every big gate no more Peter echo. Paul, the silence said, don't go to if you are saying, or more to him two hymns, a be a be a common go free, but to man go. And so, being your angel, I bet I'll go be. And you won't be near a sunny man of crimes, a cotton power, or had on to grant bail. This man will just leave the cell and go. But so be meant to me and free cell now and quiet. Then engine and way and no boy or a liar. He's a liar, he's a deceiver, he 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 actually is a fraud and four one nine. If he still remains in that cell, no in Timim Pia. About all that he claims he is. So to me, Dana will want you now go over and call for them. Oh, huh? When you play on the intellect of the ignorant, right? So now me do see baby now say be oma oma ninti ye oma omo susa wenim diemu. Now me say chre chre omo no omo mehu. Now we use omo ignorance no. Ed suppress omo. Ed ignore na omo. Ed dupe omo. Ed jiji omo sika. Now me no me bow so. So say when you careful I had honourable Ken saying say. This is not even all. There are more. That even from here, even mm -hmm. officers in the bar, Yoko, it will also come after him. Okay. For money laundering, Yoko will come after him. How he transfers money in other accounts that own you so on when he did, Nechnebi, Asorebebi, and Koka say, hey, a soft for accounts, Sika woman not transfer Sika into a different bank of also. All these things are there. And you say, sir, we are angel. We are angel. Now, same kind of say you are elevating above angel or need Jesus Christ. And, 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 and Seriously? You, oh, yeah. How can you blaspheme like this? I know, sorry, I know, Pano Jana, we are acrobatists now. What did that go for this evening? The issue is, it's about time our laws have been so lenient 
on frosters and four one nines. Right. In those days, people will go in the open and do a jana one and to go for sika free and magic. And all this are fraud. But nemra e jaumo. I said back in the days, when I say yeah, entertainment. That is what he thinks he's doing. He thinks he's entertaining people. How do you go to a church and stretch your legs, say, it will be a new shoe? The person will move your shoe, or passport, and down on the fat. Name a whole passport, they are not watching a passport of his in child picture. Name your passport to mouth. Now they're going to have to eat your answer. Oh, these are some of the answers or display acrobatics. Oh, and fun, a theater, be show, be no oil, then go for But it's about time the, 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 the leader should put a stop to this this concert kind of a. Now, Kasa, you say you're yeah, called the way of uh, or Kagame, the Rwanda way. I've always said, mm -hmm. we are so in Ghana. We are so privileged in Ghana. We had, talking from the, 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 the Fourth Republic. Mm -hmm. President Rollins say, mm -hmm. I fear God. Right? We didn't say Nyame or Nyame. Right? But maybe whatever a cause people give, he does not give back. We didn't say Nyame or We had President Kufo, who was also a Christian and a Catholic. We had Professor Mills, who was a Methodist and a Christian. We had his vice, John Mahama, who was an assemblies of God and a Christian. Right. And the President Kofor, we have Ali Mahama, who was a Muslim, a religious person. And now John Mahama, we had an assemblies of God. As I, we have Papa Sia Misata, a Methodist. We currently have President Kufuado, who worship at the non-denominational church, at the rich church, a Christian. An Orthodox Christian, if I want to put it that way. Right. Ghana, yeah, from President Rollins to the current president, yeah, and we have delayed in sanitizing our religious institutions. You, you, you reckon? We have delayed. Why do we you have say delayed? And then our cancer. For a country like Ghana, and for somebody to go and stage miracle in a church and defraud people, and a religious nation like Ghana, when you go outside Ghana, into the other African continent, country, uh, countries. Do you know how high they hold the religious nature of Ghanaians? They talk about Ghana like nothing in terms of spirituality and mm. divinity. When it's about the Muslim religion, when it's about the Christian religion, they revere Ghana. And they want to come. Now, some pastors in Africa just come to Ghana just on like something like a pilgrimage to see the level of where Ghana has been. Right. And we have these people in there. Come on. It is a disgrace to that image of Ghana out there. Now, among, among, among these people, I will say these people in there, among, I mean, we know a few of them. And they seem to have a growing clout in society. There's a section of society, I will say, yes, these people are the, really our messiahs. The, that is the word. They, they let people believe that if you do not come through them, you are not. Okay. So if you need anything from God, they have to be the one to talk to God on your behalf. Mm -hmm. But if you go to the, the genuine Christian churches, mm -hmm. the religious institutions that are founded on the faith of Christ, they will tell you that Christ died for you, Christ died for me. So it is not me, the pastor, who has the the hundred percent right or authority to intercede on your behalf. You yourself, you can go to God and ask God whatever you want. But these people will not teach their members that. Because if they teach their members, say, once you bet me for bomb pie at I'm sending me bomb pie at you, I'm not a member, no discover brain. No. I don't see a member, I don't ever talk about your channel. No. And you are my member, then we say, you, you have no right, we are born for, you have no right to pray to God. So come to me, I'll pray to God on your behalf. And when you are coming, bring me money, bring me consultation, bring me milo and things so that I can talk to God on your behalf. What nonsense is that? <laughs> Instead of teaching the people how to pray themselves to God and receive from God, 
Because when they do that, God will answer them. And they will know that it was their prayers God has answered. And that the dependency syndrome will be broken. So they won't. So they will come and tell you that this is a Beifon Kun. Mm -hmm. So if any Beifon is trying to do you something evil, mm -hmm. buy this. Now, sa, sa, uh, what crap is this? Sa churches, no. Uh, they seem to be very commercially smart. Because uh, oil, it's, Amutong, to oil, them, Amutong, it's business. Purely business. To well, them, it is not about saving souls. Let us, let us get it clear. Mm. It is not about, about saving, saving souls. souls. It is about business. And you see... Okay. I, I work shortly I, because yeah, I yeah, shortly. Say, I'm out for I, I, I work I, I, I work with a Christian organization. Okay. It's a Christian international NGO, a parachurch institution. I had the opportunity to work with a Ghana evangelical uh, mission. Mm. Reverend Dentu, when he was the head of that. Okay. There's a lot of research that has been done about the church across Ghana. Church mapping to know all this. Why is Obinim, why is all these other guys not up north? We'll find out. In the hinter areas mm. where the gospel has to be, why okay. are they not there? Because they know they don't have money. All they right. can't get the money they expect from those so it's people. it's purely commercial. Purely commercial. Okay, all right. Ah, say, I tell you, they are George Padmore, uh, kaka, kaka, against, um, concerning this fake pastors in relation to Obinim's arrest and um, his incarceration pending his 100,000 bill, which according to reports, is finding it difficult. It's now time to open the windows um, of celebrations and see who, um, who she or he celebrating their birthdays today. So Nane Ukiya from Kwabna, um, okay, seems like the whole world wishes Nane Ukiya a happy birthday. Faustina Butcher said, uh, this is from your mom, sorry. Um, and all your siblings, happy birthday to you, Fosti. Uh, wishing you all the best in life, prosperity, and um, endure a long life. Happy birthday, felicitations to Priscilla Oko. Um, this is uh, from your loved one and siblings, wishing you all the best in life, um, long life, and of course, prosperity. Who else is in the window of celebrations? Madam Rose, sorry, Mrs. Rose Arthur. This um, today's birthday wish comes from your from your husband and your siblings, wishing you all the best in life, long life, and prosperity. Um, the final one is coming from professional footballer of Croatian origin, Mario Manjukic. Manju Manjukic, yes. Happy birthday. Um, Randy thinks he knows him personally. I don't know whether they were friends back in Nassim. Possibly he just let you know you are not a football fan. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Randy, <laughs> wait. On the football team, <laughs> me. <laughs> because because of if, is, if you're a football fan, you should pronounce should, the guy's that, name. Is and I'm personally <laughs> pronouncing it the Ghana way. That's uh -huh. right. <laughs> All right. So, yes, on this note, I'll say thank you to my guest this morning, Bafo, uh, Padma Bafo in Japan. I'm, 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 I'm so, do you follow football? Do you miss I sports, do. though? I do. You I, miss I, sports? I, 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 you know, my DSTV is off. Oh, okay. Since COVID. Ah. And I've well. never decided mm. to pay. Okay. Because there's no football. There's nothing to watch. I took it for football. I agree. <laughs> right. So we thank uh, Padmoy Japan for being our guest this morning. Of course, maximum thanks goes to you, um, our cherished viewers, and of course, our production team. On this note, we say thank you for watching and uh, make a date same time tomorrow, Friday 22nd. Until then, uh, keep watching the two t television as national agenda with Yawa Mufa comes your way shortly.